what will it be like to go back to the beginning of a show that's been on for 11 years? Disney's Modern Family is finishing its run on Wednesday, so join me today as I talk about revisiting the very first episode of the show. Well, hello there. My name is Jeremy and welcome back to Freeform Disney, where I talk about all aspects of Disney, from the animated movies to the theme parks to Star Wars, Marvel, and Pixar, and the TV shows, and everything else in between. And that is why it's Freeform. And keep coming back every day for new daily content. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. With Wednesday marking the end of Modern Family's 11 season run, Today, I am beginning a series of Modern Family videos. And what better way to start than by looking back at the very first episode? Unsurprisingly, there are spoilers for Modern Family ahead. I didn't start watching Modern Family way back in 2009. In fact, I only started watching it in the past few years. But I was quickly a convert and it's certainly among my favorite sitcoms. That means that the first episode is not as far back in my memory as it may be for some, but even so, I think it'll be fun to go back there and look at it now. The first thing that strikes me in looking at the episode is just how young the kids are. It's always intriguing as people slowly age up, and you notice change bit by bit, but you don't really notice giant changes. But then, of course, if you do this and all of a sudden go back to the beginning, you're just wowed by how much time has changed. And it's really been, well, of course, 11 years. Or, in this case, I guess I should say 10 and a half years? Like, was Lily ever really that young? Wow, I had to look it up to be sure, but apparently that is actually the same actor, too, all the way through. And that's gotta be some kind of interesting effect on your life to have literally grown up pretty much your entire life while on a show. Back to the episode. I love how right off the bat we see how distractible and shiny object focused Phil can be. Then there's Claire being Claire having to hold everything together, and Luke, right off the bat, already stuck with his head in the banister again. The couch scenes then come up and... We've got everybody's names over them in their introductions. And I remember thinking back to the first time I saw it, feeling the couch confessionals felt kind of weird there to me in a sitcom format. Now they feel so completely normal to me. Although, in this episode, it does feel like they're being called out a little bit more. And it's probably to introduce us as the audience to them, as they weren't something that we would have been used to at that point in time. The only kid who looks incredibly similar then to what they do now is Haley Dunphy, or I suppose that's Haley Marshall now. And that probably has a lot to do with her age at the time. While her character was supposed to be 15, Sarah Hyland, who played Haley, was actually already an adult at the time. So I suppose that makes it so it's a lot more similar. And also, the other half of that being, I know sitcoms, especially Modern Family, try to keep things from changing. But even then, it still did shock me how similar she looks. As far as the adults are concerned, most of them look pretty similar. A little more youthful here, a little more youthful there. The hairdos on Phil and Claire definitely changed after this pilot episode. Although, even by the next season, they seem to be pretty dang similar to what we are used to here in season 11. Jay is the one who looks the most different out of the adult characters. But, similarly to the hairdos on Phil and Claire, by season 2, he's looking much more like the Jay we know. Back to the kids once more. Luke is very visibly younger than he is here in season 11, unsurprisingly, of course. And while he's simply goofy in the pilot episode, nowadays he's matured as a character while retaining some of that goofiness that he had back at the very beginning. And most of the adult characters are very similar personality-wise to where they were in this pilot. Little changes here and there. I'd say Claire perhaps has changed the most, and that's true about some of her character arcs too. Although... By season 11, she's not that different from where she started, even if she has taken on jobs, changed jobs, and is in, I guess, an interesting limbo now, maybe having a job, maybe about to go drive off on a ever-continuing vacation. Guess we'll see on Wednesday evening, right? Phil and Claire not having young kids in the house has changed a bit of how we do see them. Back then, Phil was always trying to be the cool dad. It starts right there in episode 1, and I remember that continuing for episodes and seasons after that. By now, he seems to have finally become more comfortable with himself. And we no longer see him having to go out as far to be the cool dad. The humor back in episode one is quite good, with 
the rare exception such as it using a few stereotypical gay jokes that I don't think the show would use now. I think it's evolved enough that they wouldn't try using those. Also a couple old jokes at Jay's expense that it probably wouldn't play now. Some that it would, some that it wouldn't. All things said though, the journey of this first episode as it introduces us to the characters is nicely done. And it still works even ten and a half years later after I know all of these characters as well as I do. And the ending surprise reveal about how they're all related works well. And leads to some of the most dramatic moments of the episode. And I love Cam's circle of life entrance with Lily. Probably the single moment that most stands out in my memory for this episode. And it didn't disappoint upon watching it again. It's so utterly lovingly over the top and so very much a perfect Cam moment. Oh, and if I had to pick another moment that stands out, probably the BB gun. I love Phil and Claire actually writing shoot Luke on the calendar. It's an appointment and we're going to go ahead and keep it. And then later when Phil shoots Dylan on the day he first meets him, by accident of course. The biggest changes really seem to be in some of the interpersonal relationships. For instance, Jay's relationship with Cam and Mitch, and Manny too, certainly evolves over the first few seasons. Here in episode one, Jay still has quite a few, shall we say, rough edges? And it's a bit painful to watch him at points. But that also gave him room to grow, which was nice. It led to some really nice episodes. Uh, early on, there was the Starry Night episode. That was a really good one between Jay and Mitch. Similarly, uh, there are many of the other relationships between the separate families that were a bit more strained. Even Claire and Mitchell, for instance. Phil and Jay definitely had a more strained relationship at that point, too. But even then, these still feel like relatively small shifts in characters. Not major ones you might expect to see in a big drama. This show, Modern Family, is one that certainly lives by the common standard in sitcoms of having the illusion of change. This means that sometimes things do actually change a little, but it's usually easy to change them back if there were some reason to do so. It means you could go ahead and have an idea for a story back in season one and not get to it till season eight, and you largely could do the story without a whole lot of changes. This means that when I watch the first episode, it's really clear that you could probably toss an episode in from season four or eight or even this season right after it, and it would largely work, if you ignore the kids' ages, that is then you probably wouldn't notice much of a difference in the characters. And that's fine when it comes down to it. While I sometimes might appreciate a bit more through lines and story arcs that are actually longer lasting, Modern Family works in what it is, and certainly has kept me interested enough to have watched 11 seasons of Modern Family. So I guess I can't complain too much, huh? Well, the show is quite enjoyable, and I'm looking forward to the finale on Wednesday. What about you? Have you revisited the first episode recently? What shocks you the most about that first episode compared to now? Let me know down below. And thanks for watching. If you liked it, please give the video a like and share it with your friends. I've got multiple Modern Family videos coming out this week. And come back tomorrow for another new one. And if you haven't done it yet, click that subscribe button and ring the bell. Have a magical day. And may the force be with you. Always.